so hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Sanskar and today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a true false quiz so let me give you a demo of that app so this is the first screen we can click on start quiz now then we have this question we have points we have question we have a timer running on we have image and true false so this is false our points will increase this is true our points will increase this is true our points will increase for example this one i will select true which is, which is the wrong answer so, okay this is the wrong answer to true so that will decrease five points and uh, yeah that's our quiz quite fast i know <laughs> also we was not able to attempt some questions so that was there we have been counting the incorrect options we are counting the correct options um uh, so this is the total score point of ours this is the total which we can score so we have two buttons over here we can replay the quiz or we can go to home okay so let me explain you the thing uh, or like just give you a brief about what are the things which we will run, learn in this so basic navigation will be learned in this as well you will learn how to use this this is basically an animation um, so you will learn about animation as well you will also learn how to cache the image because uh, these images are not actually saved in the asset folder um, rather we are getting these images from website called unsplash oh sorry pixels uh, pixels whatever you want to call it so we are using these urls so what uh, what i am i have done is as well that we can just turn off the internet connection i'm not sure how we do that in this iphone okay let me just turn off the internet connection of mine completely so yeah so of course if i don't have an internet this this will don't have as well so i will just close the app okay and if i will open where are you where are you i hope this one is it okay so now you can see we don't have an internet connection but if i go start quiz we have that image okay so this Im these images are being cached as well so you will learn about this as well that you can cache the images which you are loading from a particular url so this really uh, gives a better user experience to the person if i have already opened that image you can just load it up in the cache and i don't have to load it again and again when i'm using the app next time okay so these are the things and this was a bit little bit more uh, more than the description required but hopefully uh, you get all the things which are mentioned so yeah uh, without any further ado let's get started building this so first of all what we will do we will open up the terminal you can use command prompt uh, cmd or you can also use the gui flutter create and i'm going to call it true false i think it's in the same folder so we are going to name it we do enter it will take a a second or two could not resolve okay we should have to turn off on the Wi-Fi just a second let me yeah so it's connected again okay so I think they it can be created without that that's good anyways um, you can minimize this you can click on open recent or sorry open you can give it a second so that it can build uh -huh. it doesn't seems like it's done. okay let, let me check it out okay if it's done or not so I'll just go to uh, file I'll click on open what am I doing open and we have a true false quiz too seems like things are here the web folder yeah or each and every folder is there not an issue yeah by the way uh, this whole Thing can be like run uh, the whole true false quiz can be run on web android ios desktop you know the flutter thing so yeah that's also interesting okay so yeah so what we will do first of all i get rid of that comments and uh, i will get rid of this as well and i will type stateful let's go with stateful because, um while we may not need stateful in this one we can easily change that so that's not a big deal okay we are not going to create this over here what we are going to do we are going to the library folder and we are going to create a new package that is what it is called um, i'll call it views you can call it a screen or whatever you want and inside that we will have a file which is going to be home so this is our home the next thing which we want is basically you can see this one i'll take a screenshot of this and then we want the end screen so let me create a new dot file that is the let's name it quiz play 
play it okay and then the last screen is the result screen so i'm going to say result that's it so these are the views which we have so let's start with the home we will import material.dart in that and then we will say state um we can go stateless oh my god stateless and we are going to say home page i am going to copy this go to main.dart paste it we don't need this title so i'm just going to get rid of that and we have to import it so i'll import it and it's done in the home okay guys i'm sorry the text size may be smaller till now but not anymore okay so this is the home now inside the home as we can see let me just take these screenshots so it's more easier for you me to explain and you to understand and if you go to home okay so now we can simply stop this app no need for this to run okay so if i open up that screenshot this is what we want right this is how we want the home to be structured so what we can see we basically have uh, this whole body this is a scaffold by the way you know this thing these things so this is a scaffold so let me have a scaffold first of all inside the scaffold we will have a body so inside the body what we can see we have nothing more than this particular button so this button is actually a container and that container is having a decoration of some kind so i'm going to use decoration i'm going to say box decoration and inside the box decoration we are going to say color so we have to provide a background color which is going to be color star blue and after that we will have uh, you know what this uh, these uh, the border so we will say border radius we will say border radius dot circular and i'm going to give it something like uh, 24 let me close this okay so this is done uh, now we want a child so in this child we will say text text we will write what is it start quiz now yeah so this is done and anything else yeah we want to make sure this is in center so i'll just wrap it with a widget of center we also want to make sure that this is clickable so for that we can use two properties either we can use ink well or we can use the gesture detector i'm going to use the gesture detector because it's just preference whatever you want uh, the difference between both of these is basically in gesture detectors there is no kind of visible activity in this when you will have use ink well there will be kind of a splash so that's how it works so in the on tap property what we want we want to navigate to the next page so for navigation in flutter we use navigator so we will say navigator dot now there are multiple options we can push we can push replacement we can replace we can pop so basically push replacement will um, is like this uh, like stacking up all these activities um, that's what we call in android activities but in this basically we can call these different widgets so basically the whole screen widget if we, if we can call it like that um, can be stacked so if i use push that will basically push one more screen in front of this and uh, if i use push replacement uh, that what that will do that will basically remove the home and then open or create the quiz play screen so the thing is basically i don't want the user to just click on back and come back to the home screen so i will use push replacement then for the material i'm going uh, for the root i'm going to use material page root and that takes a property which is called builder it takes context so i'll say context and then it asks where do you want to go so i'll say i want to go to quiz play but it's not yet created so first let me create that so i'll say material dot dart and then i'll say state um yeah this is going to be full so we'll say quiz and we'll say play and i'm going to copy that i'll come back here and i want to say it that i want to go to quiz play and we need a semicolon over here and we need to import this so we will import that yeah so overall this seems like this screen is uh, done we have the navigator done we have the container we do can provide some styling which we should have because we basically you can see the uh, text color is white so we have to provide it some colors dot white other than this um, there is a text size which is font size sorry so it can be 17 i believe that's fine let's move on to the quiz play and let's work on that so where is the quiz play there it is 
So if you look at the quiz play, you can uh, see that we have this particular question numbering that this is the first question out of 10. Uh, we have question, um, we can have it questions, I'm not sure. What do you recommend? Just me, uh, let me know in the comments, but we will go with question right now. Uh, and we have shown the points and this is the text and this is uh, linear progression, this is image and then true and false. Okay, so what we will do, we firstly have to create the top thing. So we will use a scaffold first of all. Why are, are we using scaffold? Because we want all this kind of material look. Um, if you will not use a scaffold, it will be a black screen. And if you use any kind of text in that, it will be kind of a yellow, um, what will say, like yellow underline. So that's kind of how it works. You can try it out, but let's go with what works. So we will use uh, in the scaffold, no worry. Uh, in the scaffold, in the body, we will have a container. Inside the container, uh, the first thing which we require is basically um we have a container okay right okay so in the container of the first thing which i will do i will basically have some padding in it uh the padding insets dot symmetric i'm gonna give it vertical padding of 80 that's quite a lot i do may but that, we need that okay um so we are using a vertical of 80. after that i will say child in the child you can see there is a, it is a column uh why it is a column because in flutter if we want to arrange widget in a vertical manner then we use column if you want to arrange them in horizontal manner then we use row okay so we have a column inside column we have children's now inside the column we can see this is a uh, like a horizontal arrangement of widgets which is text widget text widget text widget text widget, text widget and this is kind of a space so for that what we will use we will use row row is used for horizontal arrangement and column is used for vertical arrangement okay so moving on we need a text so these are two text so i'll use one text i'll call it let's say slash let me just have slash over there because we need uh, two variables right now what are those variables the first variable will be uh int index so index is basically the variable which will decide what the question number is okay so i'm gonna come over here and then i'll say index dot index plus one why I use index plus one because the index will run from zero. Um, basically, what we will do for all these questions, we will create another um, file, and in that, from that, all the questions will, will be coming through a list, and that list will be of a custom model which we will create as well. Okay, so now all these questions are, com are coming, and we will be using index to get particular question uh, one at a time, and to show that in which particular question we are because the index starts with zero, right? So we will use plus one now the reason i have used these uh, curly braces is because when you use multiple kind of values if you have like for example if you are using just index so you can directly use it as it is saying avoid using braces in interpolation when not needed and if you are adding something then we will use this okay so next thing is basically getting the number of questions so we are not getting the questions yet so we have to get them to get them um, like the length and all so for that we will create another directory as i said we will be using a custom model so first of all let's create the model so we will create a package we will call it a model okay and inside the model we will create a new model uh, let me call that um, question model okay inside this let me zoom it a little bit we will have a class and i'll call it question model and inside that we will have a string okay so for question what we need we need the question we definitely need to know if it is a true and if it is false we also need to know this image URL because as I explained in this uh, starting that this is actually we are uh, loading this image from image URL. So string, the first thing will be question. The second thing will be, um, let's say the answer. Is it true or false? So I'll say answer and then I'll say string uh, image URL. Okay, so that is done. Now the, uh, the next step is to define the constructor for it. I'm using a name named parameters. So this dot answer, this dot image URL. Not hundred percent sure we will require a constructor. Yeah, we do. Okay. So now let me use the getter and setter method. Now you may be wondering what is getter and setter method. So what getter and setter method are used is basically, for example, let me show you what we are going to do with that. So we are going to create a package. As I said, we are going to get a data from another file. So we are going to create a Dart file that is going to be called data as well. And 
we don't have to import something in initially we initially have to start with a list and we will call it a question model okay question model now we will name this get questions so actually this is a function which i'm defining what the purpose of this function is that it will return a list of question models let me import this okay okay so it will return a list of question models so of course we have to firstly define the list um, of question models and i'll name it questions quite obvious right <laughs> and then i'll say list um, question model and over there okay that's done so now as we have defined this list now what we want we have to define the question model now why am i defining this question model coming up in just some minutes okay so what i will be doing i will be basically question model dot set the data through this place and in this uh, quiz play we will basically dot get right so that is the whole purpose of creating the getter and setter method uh, getter and setter method okay so now let's create that so what is the getter uh, first of all let's create the setter method so set question question and uh, of course this will need an argument which is going to be get question So this is the string which is being provided when we are setting the question so what we will do we will say question which is the model uh, this one is equals to get question the one which is being given similarly we will do for set answer string get answer and uh, answer is equals to get answer sorry get answer okay that's done now we will move up to void set image url and i'll say string get image url and we will say image url is equals to get image url done now these are the setter methods now the time is for the getter method so how getter method works is basically it is uh, returning the that, that value so we will use a retaining uh, we have these of string type so we will be returning string so i'll say get uh, question we don't have to provide any kind of arguments over here because it's the purpose of this is to return a value not actually to get something and set it so yeah we are just returning the question similarly let's do it for the answer string get answer and uh, i'll say return i'll say answer correct okay similarly let's do it for the get image url okay then we will say return image url done so we have these questions we have getter and setter now the time is to set the data so for that the first thing which i will do i actually have that um oh uh, these things like the question saved over here just so that we don't have um, but let me explain with one for example i'll say here set question then i can just grab this question okay and paste it over here in this done then next thing question model dot set um answer then i'll say image sorry it's true yeah so basically uh, this the way i am using the answer is like a string okay if you want you can use uh, something like boolean as well but this is what we are going for we are just going to compare with equals to we can compare with boolean as well and if you don't understand what i'm talking about leave it <laughs> it's not something very so yeah this is how we will provide the image url okay so let me do one thing Soft. okay so this is what the we have provided the image url next we will say questions dot okay let me make it questions dot add question model so hopefully it's making sense we created a model we provided each and every value to it then we added that to the list of question models now we will do this as much as the as many as questions we want but just when we are done with this we will basically make the question model kind of new that's what i 
how I call it basically removing all these values we have like re initiated whatever uh, we call it is done then we will basically provide these values again values again so I'm just gonna copy them copy hopefully I haven't changed any name maybe okay then let me just it's not very important but and just I just don't like watching the code like okay so we have done every things like this now one thing which I forget all the time is returning this list so we will return questions hopefully all the things which I have explained in this are clear if not comment them below I'll be replying and helping you out so yeah this data file is done now we need to get all these questions in our quiz play so how we are going to do this first of all let me create the list of this so I'll say um, my questions is equals to by the way you know uh, we can directly say it question so what is this it is how we define private variables I think yeah so new list so this is a list of question model okay so wow list <laughs> okay now it's fine so this is the we have defined the list now now we need to get those values in this one how are we going to do that so I will do that in in a state in it we will say questions is equals to get questions and da -da, you have got all the questions which you have defined in the data next so now we have the index let me show you that okay so this is the screen so what are the things required now one thing which is important as well which we should see where is it this is okay so in the result screen you can see that we have correct incorrect not attempted so we need this as well so I'll say int I'll say correct equals to zero incorrect equals to zero and not attempted zero. okay camel case yeah okay so initially we will have these values as zero and whenever the particular condition arises we will basically increase that by one so we are done with that now we need one more which is a score uh, I'm going to call it points zero anything else yeah hopefully everything is 